You'd assume that a cosmic explosion that rocked the universe could be heard from everywhere. But no one was actually present to hear it when it happened. The signal, known as the space roar, like other billions of years old occurrences in space, began as a mystery. It's still a mystery 14 years after it was initially discovered. Multiple possibilities have been proposed by scientists as to where it may have originated. Is it a product of the Milky Way? Is it extraterrestrial? Is there any way to see the early stars that it hides? A new radio telescope that will be able to focus on this noise may finally be able to decode its origin because someone may genuinely hear you scream in space. The roar was initially heard by NASA's Arcade, Absolute Radiometer for Cosmology, Astrophysics, and Diffuse Emission Equipment, while it drifted above Earth on a gigantic space balloon. Its goal was to gain a better look at the cosmic microwave background, check for the heat of primordial stars and leftovers of the Big Bang, and witness the first stars and galaxies form. To observe most of these extremely distant occurrences, it had to do the spacecraft version of squinting. Because light takes billions of years to reach us, anything billions of light years away seems to us as it did billions of years ago. Arcade was on the lookout for radio waves because light from such a great distance loses energy and transforms into radio waves by the time it reaches us. Unlike earlier radio telescopes, Arcade was able to measure the actual brightness of anything it observed, rather than the brightness of an item in relation to another object. That's when one signal screamed louder than the rest. Back on Earth, NASA scientists had to separate the signal from galactic radiation, which was a time-consuming task. They couldn't figure out where the signal came from, but they knew what it was. So, what could be causing the space roar? The short answer to that is nothing in the known universe has the potential to generate a radio signal of such power. Even if the entire universe was crammed full of radio galaxies, it still wouldn't come close to the strength of the space roar. As the head of the arcade team, Dr. Alan Cogart put it, the energy alone that could generate this level of signal is incomprehensible. Because the space roar was so diffuse, it was clear that it didn't come from a single source. It was discovered to be made of synchrotron radiation, which is released by charged particles traveling near the speed of light when a magnetic field or other force changes its route. Wavelengths might be different, when electrons in Jupiter's magnetic field are disrupted, synchrotron radiation at radio wavelengths is produced. The roar is the background of a radio synchrotron. For years, scientists have been perplexed by the background of synchrotron radiation from numerous objects, which is so diffuse due to its multiple sources. It could come from a variety of sources, NASA has contemplated putting Arcade back up there, but a more powerful telescope could be able to figure it out. The radio telescope at the Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia will be able to map radio waves in the brightest parts of the sky more precisely than anything else has ever been able to. It will also prioritize monitoring the cosmic background than other telescopes, which deem it a secondary goal. It will also determine the amount of variation in the radio synchrotron background. While it is more likely that the roar came from beyond our galaxy, because massive radio-emitting halos have never been seen in spiral galaxies like our own, the Green Bank Telescope might be able to confirm that. Perhaps this will shed some light on the mystery. Even though space roar piqued many people's interest, there is still no explanation for it. Arcade only looked at a small portion of the sky, about 7% of the total, 
Yet even this small area shows that the noise is relatively widespread. It's simply out there, blocking our view of the first stars, and it's being emitted by something we can't imagine yet. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.